Well, someone's here. Hang on just a second. And we got somebody right here on the table, too, that likes to watch us get out. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come on. You ready? This is Mr. Salmon. Come on, baby. There you go. Come on. There you go. Now. Now. So, as you can see, I have figured out how to work the Zoom yesterday. I didn't know how to work the Zoom, and uh, Jim showed me how to take care of it. Oh, look at him. He's going to get up on the stoop. He's going to want delivery. I can see it now. Hey, little guy. What you doing? So, to give you an update on raccoons. So, after we turned the camera off last night and we talked to Jim and Jim and I ate dinner, um, we came out here, I guess it was like 9 o'clock and the doorbell started ringing. And, um, we had three raccoons. Um, it was Simon again, and then you know, Bashful, and then I think it was Bashful's mama. Uh, it wasn't Little Bit. Um, and they ate four packs of hot dogs, a whole package of cookies, a whole thing of dry food, and they drank water. And then uh, Jim was up around 3.30 this morning, and he looked out here, and there was a small, small, not a tiny baby like Furby was. It wasn't that small like we discovered last year in July, but just a little bit bigger, about the size Furby was back in August, September, when he started eating marshmallows, uh, asleep up there on the stoop where Simon is right now. So, um... Jim went and got the hot dogs and um, got some more dry food and got some marshmallows and um, put them out here because it was a little skittish, of course, uh, but it knew to come to the stoop. That was the weird thing about it. Um, and it ate. And uh, Jim just sat and watched him for a while. And then he left. So um, they're waking up slowly. Uh, we got some really weird weather here. Um, it's actually been colder in Georgia at times than it is up here. We've had temperatures usually around in the 30s. Um, but Jim tells me it's usually uh, like down in the teens Fahrenheit. Um, of course, that's below zero Celsius here. Um, but this past weekend, it was in the 50s. And then... Um, it was in the 40s yesterday and the 30s today. Um, high 30s. Uh, it was around 39 uh, this afternoon. And I told Jim, I said, we're going to have raccoons tonight. I know it. And he says, yeah, do we have any hot dogs? And I said, they ate us out of house and home last night. We weren't expecting, you know, them to eat that much. And uh, we weren't expecting that many raccoons, actually. And uh, so I just got back about 30 packs of hot dogs. So, just in case, um, the little Rumpelstiltskin starts, uh, waking up. So, um, we shall see. Hey, little man. He's still a little slow. Um, Jim told me that when they're waking up, their little bodies are slow because it's still so cold outside. So, um, I see that he is chewing a lot longer and he's not moving as quick so um, that's about it so Jim went today and um, let's get a good picture of him hey little dude Jim taught me how to use the zoom last night um, you want another one here you go we'll take you another one there you go, buddy. Got it? There you go. Um, so, he got his shingles vaccine today. 
and uh, he's gone to bed uh, for the afternoon. He's taken a nap. Um, in his words, he said it took the good out of him. So um, I told him to go lay down and I would cook dinner. So I've got dinner cooking. Uh, we're having uh, beef tips and gravy. Uh, it's called the, uh oh, you dropped it, buddy. Uh, it's called the No Peak Beef Tips and Gravy. Um, I got the recipe off of Google, of course. I think it's the Penny's um, recipe. And then um, I made potatoes. Here you go, buddy. I know the wind's kind of frightening, isn't it? Oops. Here you go. I'm going to put it right here. Okay? There you go. Um, and I put potatoes in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to make us mashed potatoes with it. And he got scheduled, um, the hospital called today, and he got scheduled for his chemical stress test tomorrow. So uh, they're going to do that on him tomorrow, and uh, we will go from there. So, that is the latest on Jim and his health. It's a big truck. I think that's one of the logging trucks. They're still clearing out the um, trees from a lot of the uh, properties around here uh, from the hurricane. Um, they said it was the worst hurricane they've seen in like 40 years. So, um, a lot of trees. We lost quite a few. Uh, Jim's had to have some cut. And then we had a, um, a nor'easter blow through here. I guess it was three weeks ago. Um, a lot of rain, but a lot of wind. Um, and the, it was 120 kilometers per hour winds so um, they were pretty strong and we lost some more trees out back um, but it's just been really weird the weather here he says this is not a good winter for you to be comparing winters to and I said yeah with all the hop and all the talk everybody told me I was going to hate it up here because of the winter this winter hasn't been bad at all I mean, I've had to shovel some snow, which I've never done before, but uh, it's not bad. Um, I mean, they've got it down to a science up here. Shoveling snow, blowing snow, salting roads, plowing roads. Um, I know if they had plows in Atlanta, people would be able to drive in the snow down there. But as you all know from Snowmageddon down in Georgia a few years back, that's not happening. People don't do well when it snows. So, hey, little man. So, I don't know if you all just heard that scream in the background. That was a fox. Um, I'm learning the sounds. Ah, looky here. We got somebody else coming up the steps. Hello. Hello. How are you? You want a hot dog? Hang on. Hello, baby. There you go. There's number two for the evening. Yeah, they're going to take theirs to go. They're very slow. But they're doing pretty good out here. We've got two regulars now. Last couple of days. And it's uh, cooled off pretty quickly. Are you full there, Simon? Honey? Are you watching everybody? I hear somebody coming out of a tree. We're going up a tree one.
you doing? What is it? What you watching? I don't see anything. Jim and I saw a another fox last night and we saw a coyote last night uh, run across the road in front of us. Um, I was telling him, I think it was Saturday, um, he w he's got a stick in there that has a compass in it. Uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a, a staff. I guess you could say a shepherd's staff, and it has a compass in it. And I was telling him that, you know, once the snow melts in the woods, uh, what little snow's out there, but there is a lot of snow, and it's really wet and muddy, I'm going to take a walk down to the river. And um, I don't expect him to, but he told me I had to have a compass with me so I don't get lost. And um, he was saying, I don't want you to go down there. I'm afraid a bear will get you. And I said, the bears are asleep. Well, you never know with this weather. So, I may not do the bear thing until I can get Donnie next door or Laura next door to go with me. And and we'll take some protection with us just in case a, a bear does come up on us. So, Or a bobcat. He was scared that a bobcat might get me too. What you doing there, little dude? Are you eating? Mm hmm. My fingers are starting to get numb out here. I don't have gloves on. I didn't know he was going to stay this long. So, let's see how cold it is. Um, let's see. Let me get over here to the side. Um, it's around 5 below 0 Celsius around 21 Fahrenheit so it is kind of cool out here so I did put them some water out as you can see and some dry food and there's more hot dogs Simon had already gone in them got in them uh, when he started ringing the doorbell but I thought I'd come out here and do some filming and just see what's up so we've got two that are running around right now and if we have any more that come this evening I will be sure to film them and if Jim gets the opportunity to film that little one that came um, he will definitely catch it on camera for you guys so have a good evening everyone thank you for watching uh, if you want to get some of the merchandise that we have uh, you can go to raccoonwhisper.ca and that's the website for the Raccoon Whisper. So everyone again, have a good evening and take care. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.